Hey guys and welcome back to the United Star and this is the transfer roundup. I mean the news has been going all around about Jadon Sancho. He's been the main uh, you know player that's being discussed when it comes to Manchester United and that saga is done and dusted with. As you know we have signed him without any add-ons for 73.5 million. Great thing. I mean you know it's a different story that we've actually got him on the cheap compared to the offers that we were making before and uh, understanding that is a different ball game altogether with the breakup um, and breakup payments and so on and so forth. But seventy three point five million for Jaden Sancho, he's a Manchester United player pending a medical, and that's great news. But let's go ahead to who we're linked with. So Romano just came out the I mean yesterday and put everyone in you know a crazy thought process in a friend zone. And it's always been going on for. Um, Kamavinga, the French, the French midfielder Kamavinga. He's he's a young player, eighteen years old. Um, you know, uh, Romano came out and said that um, they want to sell him because otherwise, they, otherwise the player would be going on a free next summer. Uh, they they are open to selling him for around thirty million. Otherwise, as I said, they'd lose him for a free. And United see him as a long term, um, long term target, long term investment. You know, he is um, in that kind of range where he's 18, 18 years old. You can have him, you can resell him for a good value. If you're getting him for 30 million, I'm pretty sure if you want to sell him five years from now at, a, at an age of 23, you'd 100% make that 30 million. But at the same time, um, there's another tweet that has come out that Manchester United should make a first offer for around 30 million, but it's unlikely that they will accept. So um, this is a player that, you know, United has been linked with. I think that we were linked with him last last summer as well. Um, it can the links continue this summer. It's obviously escalated because he will be a free agent next summer, and um, there are other teams also in the mix. Chelsea is being discussed. PSG is being discussed. But the steam, but but it's it's rolling and it's moving faster than we expected. Uh, that being said, do do I see this happening? Yes, I do. But the question that then arises is, is he a CDM? Uh, from what I have understood, he plays more of a central midfielder role and not a holding midfielder. He could probably be uh, the replacement to Paul Pogba if Paul Pogba leaves on a free next summer because the rumor has it that Manchester United are not, go not going to be willing to sell him this summer. And based on what I'm hearing, I'm only hearing contract uh, discussions about Bruno and not about Paul Pogba. So if that's how things are going, are we seeing um, Kamavinga as a um, replacement to Paul Pogba? Are we seeing him in a holding position? That's that's where that's where the question marks lie. And if we're seeing him as a cent center midfielder, center midfield option, then how are we are we going to be making Scott McTominay a CDM? How are we going to go about it this season? So. Do let us know down in the comments what you think about this signing if it goes through. I think there's something behind this. I think Manchester United don't want another Jude Bellingham uh, situation on our hands where we were so clearly interested in a player that had great caliber as we can see um, he's performing in the Euros and what he's done for Dortmund. And we don't want to let go of Kamavinga in a similar situation. So do let us know if you see him as a number six, you see him as a replacement to Pogba. Would you like to see him for 30 million? I think 30 million is extremely cheap for a player of his caliber. And I definitely see that value going slightly higher. Uh, moving on to the next topic that, again, it's a very Romano-oriented uh, uh, roundup that we are having today. But as I mentioned, Paul Pogba, uh, Paul Pogba uh, is, is and seems to be staying at Manchester United. Um, United did start contract talks with him, but nothing has materialized yet uh, from what from what I understand. Um, to be honest, I don't see how Pogba leaves and for where Pogba leaves given the wages that he's on and, you know, the price tag that we're expecting. Because the, the places that I could probably see him go are PSG, Juventus, Madrid, Barcelona. Uh, Madrid and Juventus unfortunately don't have the money to uh, cough up that United are asking because we know what their financial status is. Uh, would would I see a Ronaldo Pogba swap? No. Would I take uh, some other player from Juventus? Not really. Would I take a player from um, Madrid? Yes, I would. But are Manchester United ready to make that uh, player swap? I don't think so. I think um, the player that we're going to be dis uh, we're going to be dis uh, discussing uh, soon would easily come 
for um, the price tag that is being put if he wants to leave Madrid. So for that reason, I don't see Paul Pogba leaving this season, which then puts the bigger question, are Manchester United ready to take the risk of letting him go for free for the second time? Um, personally, I think if Manchester United manage to have the window that you know everyone is talking about, Paul Pogba will sign a new deal for Manchester United. It may just be him signing a deal for the year so that he doesn't go for free. And if and if you know we win the Premier League or if we get some some significant silverware or pull off, you know, a miraculous Champions League win, he continues to stay and he doesn't leave. But I could see him just signing a contract, maybe a two or three year extension with uh with the with a agreement with the board that he does get to leave when the right offer comes, something very similar to what Jaden Sancho did with Dortmund. Moving on to the player that we were then talking about at Real Madrid, it is none other than Rafael Varane. Uh, when it comes to Rafael Varane, I think it's very clear, um, you know, the player wants to leave, but the question that I have is, is this another Sergio Ramos situation that happened to us a few years ago where the player just keeps saying that, oh, I want to leave. The media keeps, uh, you know, pushing this fact that the player wants to leave for him to then get a big fat contract at Real Madrid because um, Ramos is going to PSG. That's more or less confirmed. Are Madrid ready to lose both their centre backs? Rafael Varane at Manchester United. I I would I would love to have him as a player at United. No doubts. I think him and Maguire would be a perfect combination. Given the fact that you know, um, I think Maguire has just come into the side, been given the armband, has been placed next to Lindelof. There's a lot of pressure on him, and having a serial winner. In, in a player who's won the Champions League, in a player who's won, um, you know, the World Cup, you name it, he's won it. Having a player of that caliber next to you and removing the pressure of the captain, we could probably see an even better Harry Maguire and, you know, a player who fi- who who justifies his price to the media. He's already, already justified it to us fans at least, at least to me as a fan. But he then manages to justify that price tag even to the media. So I think having Rafael Varane would be great. 50 million. Uh, Romano has come out and said it won't be easy. But what I would really like is we get these players in um, before preseason starts or during preseason and not towards the later end so that they can they can settle in with the squad and understand the squad and and the squad is being built from day one so uh, as you, as as we've already spoken about when it comes to the transfers in um Kamavinga is getting into a heated topic it is something that everyone's discussing i do see it happening i hope that it happens and it's not another jude bellingham situation on our hands um after which rafael varan is another player um who's you know been been spoken about since day one of the transfer window and it seems like it is a possibility can you can you imagine having um rafael as our center back with pogba and kamavinga playing that french connection and god forbid i mean if martial stays and you know he's playing a game up front we have a full spine uh, we're just missing missing the keeper and the keeper should be french as well and if we go back to 2015 not 2015 2017 hugo Lloris could have been our keeper but jokes apart i think uh, a transfer window of where we managed to get Jaden sancho kamavinga and um rafael varan would be spectacular we haven't seen it happen in years but this would be one of the best transfer windows that we've had, especially if we manage to get all of them for a price tag of 150 million. Uh, that would be spectacular. Uh, another and one of the last players um, that we would discuss of them coming in would be uh, Declan Rice. Uh, it's clear that West Ham won 70 million for Declan Rice. He is that CDM player that we want. Do I think he's worth 70 million? Not really. Would I do a Lingard plus money deal for him? Yes. But then the question that applies is how much or how, how, what's the worth that West Ham can put on Lingard? And to be honest, I think the player helped them reach Europa League and there's no reason why they don't cough up that money to give us. So, um, knowing West Ham, I don't see them, you know, paying, doing a deal such as um, Lingard plus 30 million for Declan Rice because that's a deal I'm ready to take 
Um, I can see something like Lingard plus 50 million for Declan Rice, and I, 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 I don't see what the benefits of that are. I would rather just pay 50, uh, pay that 50 million to get a player like Kamavinga, and sell Lingard and recoup that money so that the net, uh, the net spend isn't that high. Uh, but guys, that's about it. Those are the players that um, you know we've discussed today. We've discussed Kamavinga, we've discussed Baran, we've discussed Declan Rice. Um, things are going things are going smooth for Manchester United this transfer window. Um, you know, um, there's no players that are going out, but there's a lot that's being spoken about the youth that will eventually go out. So do stay in touch with us and do do um, subscribe to to get the latest details on the transfer window. But um, let us know what you think about uh, the so-called predicted uh, three transfer ins that we could have in the comments below. Until next time, do like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.